This week, you could go to the theater and watch a poorly reviewed and horribly miscast Uncharted movie full of CGI moments that were ripped straight out of a much more exciting video game. Or you could play Grapple Dog, a fun new action platformer that's a mix of Indiana Jones and Bionic Commando. They both cost about the same and are filled with massive set pieces full of colorful bad guys, but only one of them will keep you entertained for more than two hours. Yeah, I think the choice is pretty obvious, but if you're somehow still on the fence, here's a full review ready to remind you that Mark Wahlberg is nowhere to be seen in Grapple Dog. This is the story of a band of explorers who are on the hunt for the four fabled cosmic gadgets which are said to be scattered across Partash. It's while looking for clues that our canine hero Pablo legs behind the group and inadvertently awakens a long dormant robot. The good news is that he manages to find a useful grappling hook. Unfortunately, the bad news is that all hell has been unleashed, Partash gets blown up, and the evil robot sets out to burn down the entire world. Now it's up to Pablo to go on an epic adventure to run, jump, and swing through five challenging worlds in an effort to find the four cosmic gadgets and use them to stop that robot from enacting its evil plan. As the name suggests, a lot of the game revolves around that grappling hook that Pablo found back in the jungle. Pretty much every level uses the grappling hook in one way or another, so mastery of the swing quickly becomes the difference between life and death. The good news is that hooking things is easy, thanks in large part to visual icons that let you know when it's safe to fire the hook. Unlike a game like Bionic Commando, Grapple Dog doesn't let you hook just everything or rather makes it so that it's only the blue parts of the level. This starts out with big chunks of the stages being painted blue, but it will eventually lead to blue conveyor belts and blue orbs floating in the sky. Now, one thing that I like is that that sense of exploration is baked into every part of the game. The goal isn't so much to make it to the level's exit, but rather to explore the area and find these purple gems. Every stage, including the boss encounters, has five of these purple gems hidden away, and it's up to you and your grappling hook to investigate. Sometimes that means taking an alternate path, while other times you'll need to solve some sort of puzzle in order to find what you're after. This is a great way to keep the exploration theme, and searching for these hidden items becomes a major part of completing each stage. Of course, the reason why it's so important is because you'll eventually use these purple gems to unlock the various boss fights. This is another highlight for Grapple Dog, because every single one of these boss encounters looks and plays differently. You'll be running away from a robotic T-Rex in one stage, and then swinging on the back of a flying dragon in another. I like that these fights require both thought and reflexes allowing you to really show off the grappling hook skills that you learned from the regular levels. They're also challenging, which I appreciated. For a cutesy game that looks like it could be aimed at kids, I liked that Grapple Dog wasn't afraid to be a little tough from time to time. Like all good platformers, the game does a great job of introducing us to new obstacles and villains in each of the new worlds. While you've seen a lot of this before, it feels different when you're in control of a grappling hook. I love that the game will often go vertical thanks to the objects you can hook onto and the little pools of water floating around the stages. In fact, there's a surprising amount of water found in Grapple Dog. Pablo cuts through the water like a knife and can even leap out of the pools to gain a little extra height. No matter if he's on land, underwater, or swinging through the sky above. Pablo is just a blast of control. That said, he does take a little getting used to. A lot of what he's good at is controlling the momentum of the action, which often assumes that he's speeding around the levels. Things get tricky when he slows down. A simple action, like moving one step forward, isn't necessarily what he's good at. It feels like you have to watch an entire animation cycle, which will often put you beyond the spot you were trying to go. 
This also proves to be a problem when fighting nearby enemies. I found myself taking a lot of cheap hits because there's not an immediate way to attack what's in front of you. Thankfully, there comes a point where everything just clicks and these issues become a thing of the past. Give Pablo a little practice and you'll be climbing up the walls and swinging through the sky better than Spider-Man. Outside of the learning curve, my biggest complaint is the performance. Maybe it's different on PC, but I found the Switch version dropping frames and slowing down at inconvenient moments. There are a few sections that really chug. Which, gotta admit, surprised me considering that it's not the most visually taxing game that I've played on the Switch. I also encountered multiple crashes, including one at the very end of the hardest boss in the entire game. Yeah, that did not leave a good taste in my mouth. The good news is that pretty much everything else checks out. The visuals are bright and colorful, and I found a few of the cinemas to be genuinely adorable. On the other hand, I wasn't a big fan of the repetitive Electronica soundtrack, which samples a few too many words and voices for my liking. But look, all's forgiven when you find the hidden Game Boy game buried deep in your boat. Yeah, Grapple Dog knows what's up. It's important to have a good portable game to keep you company on those long boat trips. Grapple Dog is a delightful new platformer with an ear towards exploration. Discover massive stages and epic boss fights in this long and satisfying action game that stresses both skill and reflexes. The Switch version is let down by performance issues and the soundtrack is definitely going to drive you up the wall, but the lengthy journey is fun from start to finish. If you're looking for a game that mixes the best elements from Alex Kidd, Indiana Jones, and Bionic Commando, then you need to adopt Grapple Dog. Hey, thanks for watching our review. If you liked what you saw here, then you should know that we post new reviews and features almost every day. Now, here's the question I have for you. What is your favorite game world to explore? And do you think I could have come up with clunkier wording for that question? <laughs> anyway, from big open worlds to small detailed ones, there are a lot of great video games to explore. Now, this game is all about exploration, so let me see your picks for favorite world to explore in the comments below. In other news, we'll be back later this week with a review of Beat Souls, which is Dark Souls as a Rhythm game, right? Right? I guess we'll both find out soon enough. If that sounds good to you, then I strongly recommend you click that subscribe button and support what we're doing here. Until then.